Now we're going to discuss built-in types in C++. And this material follows section 2.2.2 of Strassroop. So C++ offers some basic built-in types. No library needs to be included in order to use these types. This is not an exhaustive list of all the built-in types in C++, but these are the main ones that we're going to encounter in this course. So there's bool which denotes a Boolean value. This can take on the value true or false. And true and false are keywords, so you can set a Boolean variable to be true or false just by typing true or false. Char, or car, stands for a character. Uh, these are delimited with single quotes. So this can be you know, like a lowercase a, the number three, the newline character that we saw in the last video. Int is probably what we use most often in this course. That's just an integer, so like 123 or negative 4,000. There are also some built-in types for floating point numbers. So there's double. Uh, that's a double precision floating point number. And there's also float, which is a single precision floating point number. So how much memory a type can take can vary from machine to machine. So this is something you have to be a little bit careful with. The C++ standard just sets lower and lower and upper bounds on how much memory a type should use, but does not exactly specify it. But I'm going to go over some values now that are very typical, and most probably these are the values that are used on your computer. So typically, bool and char use 8 bits or 1 byte. Typically, an int uses 4 bytes. So that means that an int can be in the range between negative 2 to the 31 and 2 to the 31 minus 1. So that's about you know, negative 2 billion to 2 billion, around there. Uh, typically a double, so that's a double precision floating point number, uses 8 bytes. And a single precision floating point number uses 4 bytes, like an int. Uh, you can check the values on your machine with a function called the size of function. Uh, so, for example, you can just type, you know, C out the size of a double, and that will print out a number. And that number is uh, how much memory a double uses on your machine phrased as a multiple of how much memory a char uses. Okay? So, um, you know, typically a char will use one byte and a double will use eight bytes. So, uh, you know, on my machine, this prints out eight. Uh, so you can check if it's the same on your machine.